guys, so the battery on my camera is about to die, so we're going to rush through this intro. Um, today I'm going to be doing my updated foundation routine, which I've gotten lots of requests on, so I'm very excited to do that. But one thing, or a couple things I wanted to cover before I started, um, I'm wearing these new rubber bands. Um, I'll do a vlog where I'll totally explain them, but they make me talk kind of funny, um, and so like my articulation kind of sucks because I'm getting used to them, so I apologize if that's really annoying. Secondly, I wanted to quickly talk about skincare because um, I get questions on that as well, and I figured it's good to loop in with my foundation routine. So basically, I have combination skin. It's sometimes dry, sometimes kind of oily. But what I do as far as skincare is I use the Clinique 3 step system and it's got these three steps oh and I'll explain each one real fast so I'm Clinique step or I'm the like skin kind too I believe um first I have the Clinique liquid face facial soap in mild it looks like this and I get it on this little scrublet it came with the L'Oreal go 360 clean um, but I use it for this and I pump three times on here and while I'm in the shower I just scrub 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 all over my face and it kind of gets out anything that's like gross in my face, which is nice. And then when I get out of the shower, I pat my face dry with a towel. And then I apply step two, which is the clarifying lotion. Um, I don't know why they call this a lotion. I think this is much more of a toner. And then anywhere that kind of feels like it's really especially icky or especially like there's like a problem area um, where I feel like I might get a breakout, I will apply especially like some more and kind of spot treat it and then after that I will apply my clarifying lotion and uh, this stuff's really nice okay so I recorded my entire foundation routine and then was like okay I'm done and went and looked at my camera only to realize I somehow didn't press the record button so the entire thing didn't record so I took off all my makeup um, not my eye makeup or my eyebrows. Um, I'll do a whole eyebrow routine another time because I've gotten lots of requests for that, but not today. Um, so anyway, this is me with basically no makeup on on my face. There's probably still some left over. My skin or my under eye circles are definitely worse than this, but I feel like I couldn't get all the concealer off. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to have to show you without perfectly clean skin because I don't want to take a shower um, to get everything off. So excuse that. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't press the record button. Like, how silly is that? <sighs> I'm so frustrated with myself right now. So each morning when I wake up, I kind of assess my skin. Since I have combination skin, it really changes depending um, on the day. And so I'll start off by deciding like whether or not it needs to be moisturized. Um, right now, the weather's pretty like gloomy and there's lots of rain, so there's lots of moisture in the air. So I feel like my skin doesn't really need any lotion. But if it did need lotion, I'd add the Clinique, um, the third step, lotion. And then after that soaked in for a while, I would like kind of look at it again and if it felt like it still needed more moisture, then I would mix my foundation with a tinted moisturizer. Now, the foundation I use is the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Mousse Makeup in Light SPF 20. Looks like this. <clears throat> And um, I'd mix that with my CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers in SPF 15 and this is in 810 Light to Medium. So I'd mix those two together if I felt like I needed a lot more moisture. But today my skin's feeling really good. Um, it doesn't feel like it needs more moisture and I don't want to make it shiny or anything. So I'm going to mix instead um, two shades of this um, foundation, the light and the medium, because I haven't found a shade that works really well for me yet. But before I apply my foundation, I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Studio Secret Professional Magic Perfecting Base. And it looks like this. And this is really like creamy, kind of pinky consistency. And this is going to help to minimize any pores. So I put that around my nose. Blend that out. And on the bridge of my nose. And then I blend it up around my eyebrows. Just kind of through this like area. And then I'll also apply it on any blemishes I have. Because it helps to kind of smooth out the skin around them and help them blend in more easily so that the foundation isn't going to like sink into the, I don't know, like unevenness of them. And so it's going to help to kind of conceal them. So I apply that wherever I've enlarged pores or blemishes. And now I'm going to mix my two foundations. Ugh. Sorry, I have the mix from like before on my hand, but I take mostly the light. Ooh. Oh, that was way too much. Wow. Let's, like, take half of that and put that somewhere else. Okay. And then I take just a little bit of the darker one. Come on now. Come out. 
So I don't know if you can see the difference between the two, but it's mostly the light one. And then I just take my finger and I blend them together. And then you can use a brush, but I just like to use my fingers, and I kind of dot that onto my face. And I like, so of course my camera dies um, now that I am recording, um, but basically I just applied it also under my eyes and I blended it down to my neck. <clears throat> I have really bad dark circles so I need as much coverage there as I can get. So once I've applied the foundation, I also take a concealer and this is the All May Line Smoothing Concealer in SPF 10 and the color is a light medium 200. And this is designed especially to go under your eyes, and it says it's not going to sink into the lines, but um, I don't know if I would like 100% agree with that. It's not, it's not like a product that I'm like, this is my holy grail item, you know? Um, I think there are better things out there, but this is what I'm using right now, and it works pretty good, and the color matches me well, so that's nice. And it has a doe foot applicator, which I've never used before in a concealer, but I actually really, really like, so it's just very convenient. I do five dots. And then I just take my ring finger and blend. And then I go back in and I apply it again wherever there are any um, really dark areas. Same thing on this side. Five dots and a blend. Alright, then once that is done, we're going to apply a powder to set everything. Now, I've been using this powder for forever. It's a nice powder. I like it a lot. Um, it's the Clinique Perfectly Real Compact Makeup in shade 108G. Now, this is getting too dark for me, but I'm trying to use it up, so excuse that. Um, so then I apply that using the SS150, and this is just a big fluffy brush. Get that on there, and I just swirl that onto my cheeks. And especially apply it anywhere that you know you're going to get shiny, so that's for me on my nose and T-zone. And then I take just the tiniest bit and apply that under my eyes, because this powder will kind of sink in there, and you don't want that, because it's going to make it look cakey, which is never attractive. So apply that very sparingly under the eyes. Then we're just going to finish off with our blush for the day. You can contour or do whatever you want, but I don't. Um, I kind of contour a bit with blush, and I'll show you how. Um, hold on, I can never open this. All right, there we go. Uh, this is the Clinique's blush in Sunset Glow, and it's really, really pretty. I want to get the full size, but it looks like that, and I'm going to take an angled brush. This is the SS 168, and I'm going to get that on there. And we're just going to apply that starting at the apples of our cheeks and working up along. And this is really just going to highlight our bone structure, which I think looks really pretty. And You can use whatever color you like, and you can do the same thing with bronzer. But I like how um, it just gives a very like youthful kind of a glow to my face. So that's what I like to do.